All right, guys. Um, a little video update of my Camaro project. No, this is not the newest Camaro. This is the original Snoopy project. Uh, this car was wrecked in oh several years back now. I think about 2002, somewhere there. But um, I'd have to check the date. No, I'll mention the date once I check it. But what happened is I hit a Ford pickup. It ran a red light just as I was going underneath it and caused this. The ironic thing is this is a 92 Camaro. The Ford pickup was a 92 Ford pickup. Both white. And this circular impression is actually where the rim of the pickup was the back rim and if you look along the hood this is where the side of the truck hit and then down here is where the rim was again see that's a lug nut hole the lug nut caused that then it rode along top of the hood along that flat path so literally the truck was scooped up and the way the hood folded it stopped the truck from rolling over on top of me take a step back so you can see so yeah very very lucky with this this car saved my life um as you can see though it's like from the firewall back there's literally no body damage what it did do though was this fender here on the driver's side hit this door and it pushed it back right up against there but as you can see the gap is very very tight um, there's also been a little stress point here so I'm thinking the roof was flexed just a little bit possibly but you can't really tell it but um let's open up the door here yeah you hear that door creak this is where we cut the patch for the other uh, Camaro's floorboard as you can see we cut out a nice big section of it so that we can fit it in and look at that trans tunnel that is bent way out of shape all along here why the transmission got knocked up into it that's why but yeah i'll probably be stripping this down during the summer selling some parts to um fund my other camaro Sadly, yes, I know. The original Snoopy will have to be stripped down. But some of the parts I am keeping, like the ground effects and the back bumper, I'm definitely keeping those for myself to put on that project Camaro over there. Now let's just take a walk around here. Here we are, current project. This hatch right here has come from the Rec Camaro so far. And this nice big patch, which you see here. See, no more rust hole. So it is a rock, it's just gotta be welded in now. And we got a nice big overlap here. Literally the overlap on this section is about from here to here. I know some people will say, oh, you need to cut it down. Well, we're not gonna cut it down. Uh, we got a nice overlap here. Actually left part of the body plate on that frame rail. We got a little bit that we're gonna have to fill right there. 
as you can see that hole but anywhere else it's pretty well got an overlap on it and that's for some structure and make sure we got some nice bracing material but all the rust was pretty much removed I do need to go back pull out this patch we just placed it in here to see how it looked but I gotta pull all this out now and finish stripping down the rust on this side to fully get it ready put a coat of um, perhaps rust cat paint on here so that the rust is capped off it won't come back then drill out the places for the spot weld tighten this metal down spot weld it seal off the seams and then I'm probably gonna go over it with a cut of bed liner so that if water does leak in here again like with this spot here from the t-tops it won't sit on a metal itself it will sit on a nice layer of bed liner and as you can see over there I pretty much get all the rust out which is great and that side's ready I just gotta get this side ready now and I got two holes to patch right there another kind of big but there's good metal around them so I'm gonna cut those out and just kind of get some scrap pieces of metal and patch them and that concludes this video update sorry I've not been getting any other update videos I was going to do one of the goat cart driving around here in those backwoods right there but the belt was eating up on it so thanks guys Stay tuned.